Will this fish call work in late March conditions on the Cape Fear River? This week on Kayak Hacks. I finally caught a break on the weather and I'm out here today on the Cape Fear River. The wind should be coming up in a couple hours so I only got a little bit of time to check this out. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to set it on the shrimp sound initially and I'm going to throw it in the mouth of a creek. The tide is going out right now so this should be the prime time for fish to be hanging out at the mouth of that creek waiting for bait fish. So I'm going to paddle over there gently drop this in the mouth and then back off and set my anchor and we'll see what happens. I'm going to sit here quietly for about five minutes without casting next to the call to give it a chance to calm down and attract some fish. Throwing this jig, I snagged the fish call so I guess this is a good time to change the sounds from shrimp to bait fish. Well, I've been fishing here for about 45 minutes. First I had it on the shrimp noise, and now I have it on the bait noise. Uh, no action at all on a, a shrimp hanging underneath a popping cork or a gulp a fluorescent three-inch mullet. So I'm gonna conclude optimistically that the fish just aren't here. And the wind's starting to come up, so I'm gonna move down river a little bit to fish another spot that I know usually is good and we'll see if the fish are there today. All right, fish on. I had another one on earlier using the bait fish sound, but he shook off, but this little 16 inch flounder got into the boat. But then I had a huge one on, but had to cut it off when I saw a container ship rolling up. And here you can see the wave that it produces. Boy, it was huge. And it, I had to scramble to get around the island and get into this bay. And you can see the water come rolling into the bay, sucking it in and out. And then looking across the river to the shoreline, huge, huge waves banging against the shore. I am so glad that I was not out in my kayak when this wave hit. Well, the wind was starting to come up. Container ships are rolling in. There was another one I saw. So I'm going to end up having to pack it in and call it a day on this experiment. But boy, these container ships, dangerous. Well, dang it, I got chased out by a big container ship that came up. I caught this 16 inch flounder on the bait fish noise that this thing was making. I had another something on that shook loose and I had something huge on that I had to cut off when I saw that container ship coming. So bottom line right now is that qualified success, but not enough to recommend that you go out and get one of these because they are very expensive. I'm going to do some more testing. It's going to be pretty windy here in Wilmington, North Carolina for the next week or so, so it may not be a while until I can get back out. I'll try the freshwater sound uh, hopefully next week at Lake Waccamaw and we'll see what that does. So right now, qualified success but don't buy it until I give you the thumbs up. Take care.